Kate Walbert's novel, A Short History of Women, is a complex and thought-provoking work that explores the lives of five generations of women in one family, from the early 20th century to the present day. Through their stories, Walbert examines the evolving roles of women in society and the challenges they have faced in pursuit of their goals and dreams. The novel is structured as a series of interconnected vignettes that move back and forth in time, highlighting key moments in the lives of the women in the family. The first section of the book is set in 1914 and follows the story of Dorothy Trevor Townsend, a suffragette who is determined to fight for women's right to vote. Through her struggles and triumphs, we see the beginnings of a movement that will ultimately change the course of history. As the novel progresses, we meet other women in the family who are similarly determined to make their mark on the world. There is Evelyn, a brilliant scientist who struggles to balance her work with her responsibilities as a wife and mother. And there is Liz, a young woman who becomes involved in the anti-war movement during the 1960s and 70s, despite the disapproval of her conservative family. Through each of these women's stories, Walbert explores the tension between individual desires and societal expectations. For Dorothy, the fight for suffrage is not just about securing the right to vote, but also about challenging the notion that women are inherently inferior to men. For Evelyn, the struggle is to prove that a woman can be a successful scientist without sacrificing her family life. And for Liz, it is about challenging the conservative values that have governed her family for generations. The novel is also a meditation on the passage of time and the way that history shapes our lives. Walbert uses recurring motifs, such as a series of photographs that are passed down through the family, to highlight the connections between the past and present. We see how the choices and actions of previous generations continue to impact the lives of those who come after them, and how each woman's story is both shaped by and a reaction to the historical moment in which she lives. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is its use of language. Walbert's prose is spare and precise, yet also poetic and evocative. She has a gift for capturing the essence of a moment or a feeling with just a few well-chosen words. For example, in one section of the novel, she describes a moment of connection between Evelyn and her daughter Grace. Evelyn watches as her daughter turns the pages, recognizing the curious, intense concentration, the fierce focus of the reader who is also the read-to. She feels a rush of love for her daughter, a flood that surprises her, for she has been too busy, too preoccupied, too exhausted, too numb to feel much of anything at all. In just a few sentences, Walbert captures the complexity of the relationship between mother and daughter, as well as the fleeting nature of moments of connection and intimacy. In conclusion, a Short History of Women is a powerful and beautifully written novel that explores the struggles and triumphs of women throughout the 20th century. Through its richly drawn characters and vivid, evocative prose, it offers a compelling meditation on the evolving roles of women in society, as well as the ways in which history shapes our lives.